Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil, and I wanted to share with you another spreadsheet. I really love spreadsheets. So uh, I created one, and one of the things that I, I am focused on doing is being a better, a better person. I'll just say it that way. You know, I want to have a stronger faith. I want to have, be a better husband, a better father, and a better worker. So I created a spreadsheet just to help me keep that, um, be mindful of it. I'm hoping it's not legalistic, but it does help me be mindful of those things that I think will contribute to me being better in all those areas. So I'm just going to share it with you and feel free to use it. I will put a link to that in the description. All right, so here is my tracking spreadsheet, and I am pretty proud about this. Uh, one of the things that might trip you up is that this, this spreadsheet, it does use macros. So you can tell that by the extension there, XLSM. That just means it has macros in there and that allows you to use these buttons here. So if you wanna actually use the spreadsheet, uh, you, you're gonna to have to enable macros. And all those macros do, by the way, there's an advanced filter here that lets you see just the current week or the current month or just the year or the whole year, I guess. So how do I use the spreadsheet? I use it in two ways. One is planning. So when I'm I'm doing my planning, since I'm going to be looking at the spreadsheet every day, maybe a couple times a day, but usually once a day, I want to put those most important tasks for the week right here. So on Sunday, normally I'm doing some of my planning. I'm doing some calendaring. And I think, okay, what do I have to do uh, get done today? That's not just automatic. You know, it's not like showering or anything like that. It's it's those things that are uh, important and and maybe a little bit unusual. So for me, I, I this is what I listed for this current week. And then when I get them done, I just put an X by there and it crosses them off. So hopefully by the end of the week, I get them all crossed off. All right. Now this part here. So I use most of this in my reflection. So at the end of the day, I'm going to stop and I'm going to just take an inventory about how the day went. And some, that way you can kind of keep track. A lot of times what we do is we self-sabotage, it seems like, and we wonder why are we struggling? You know, why are we struggling with maybe at work? Well, what I think is a lot of times your family life affects your work life and your health, li health affects your, your family life as well as work and your relationship with the Lord affects everything. So that's how I basically stru structured this. And so at the end of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, for me, uh, while there's a lot more that goes into do your relationship with the Lord than just this, I want to monitor my daily offices because that's one of those key indicators for me. So I, I try to keep three daily offices, which is just times that you have set up specifically to meet with the Lord. So the first one is in the morning where I do Bible study and prayer. Then the second one is at noontime where I just stop you know and that's a that's a tough thing so i stop i try to close my eyes take a quick nap uh, maybe pray a little bit but but the hard thing is to just stop and remember that it doesn't all depend on you um, then when you get towards the end of the day sometimes i i put these last two together but there's part of it where you have to reflect on your last the end of the day so that this would be part of the reflection is filling this out as well as maybe journaling. I usually try to journal what happened in the day. But then the next part, so you, hopefully you're thankful during that time. And then the next part, though, is planning for the next day. And so I try to lay out what I think will happen the next day. And again, hopefully seeking the Lord in that. For health, these are the main things that I want to pay attention to. I just think they're they're the biggest ones. My sleep, am I getting at least seven hours of sleep? And my diet, so I do intermittent fasting. And I have a tendency to sometimes cheat on that. So I want to limit it to an eight-hour window. So if it's eight or less, that gives me full credit there. If it's more than eight, I get partial credit. And you can see that in the, these formulas. It's not maybe not super easy to see. By the way, sleep, I mean... Sleep automatically gives me a 50%. So I'm just going to put that. I So you can see that right there. I, I don't show that percentage until the, the intermittent fasting is plugged in. Exercise. I want to get 30 minutes of what I consider real exercise. So for me, I don't include walking. Maybe you do. 
Um, but if I'm actually jogging or a treadmill or weightlifting or something like that, then that counts. Next part, when you get to marriage, I really like the book. It's Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. It's by John Gottman. And at the very end, there's like these, I, I think it's five things. So hopefully I got them right here, but there's five important moments in your marriage. So the first one is it matters how you part each other. So when you uh, leave and go your separate ways for the day, so I get up before and go go to work before my wife even wakes up. So if I leave a note for my wife, that counts. If I don't, then I get a no, and you can see it'll affect the score. Um, how I unite. So at the end of the day, do you come together? Do you, do you give your spouse a hug and a kiss? And do you spend at least 30 minutes connecting? So sharing about how the day went and uh, and just connecting on that in that at that level affection so at the end of the day before you go to bed do you give a hug and a kiss um do you do a monthly date night so actually when you you enter this one in it, it'll update everything for the month and then the tactical so that's my our weekly check-in on stuff like calendars and money and just making sure we're organized and we're just not doing it on the fly because what i notice is um especially when my wife is is saying, here's what's coming up and I'm doing something else. I'm really not listening. But if we're at a tactical meeting, then I'm taking notes and I am putting it on the calendar. And that's when I do actually listen with both ears. Uh, this one, I'm just trying to track how much time I'm spending. That's more or less quality time with the kids. So Liam's in college, so it's a little bit harder to connect with him, but I just to track it. And there's no real metric with this. I just want to see right now. So for the work one, I, I started following this just a little bit ago, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I really like it. Uh, so there's this video by, I think it's his name is Ryan Doris. Uh, he's got a cool accent, so he says it a lot cooler than that. I'll put a link to the video in the description. But basically, it helped you think about how your work, the work that you do has different value. So there's some work that you do that is really important. You know, it's the most important thing you could do for your workplace. And that's $1,000 an hour work. Then there's the next level down, which is $100 an hour work, which is, again, it's pretty valuable, but it's it's not nearly at the same level. And then there's work that is down there, even another level, and that's $10 an hour work. And if you think through your work, again, trying to be honest, what is the, the thing that will move your workplace forward the most, go ahead and classify it. And so that way, when you are actually going through your work day, you're keeping track of what you're working on. And then at the end of my work day, what I do is I think, okay, was that $1,000 an hour work? Or was that $100 an hour work? Or was that $10 an hour work? And so then I just add it up. So what is this score then? So the score is just my way of trying to calculate what is the return on investment my employer is getting from me? So that means I need to know what the cost that they're putting into me. So I, on a daily basis, by the way, so what I did is I went ahead and I calculated out my salary plus payroll taxes, plus the cost of retirement and health benefits that my employer is paying and added that all together. And then what I did is I factored it, I tried to calculate roughly the number of work days, days that I'm going to be at work or expected to be at work. So I get four weeks of vacation and I get about two weeks versus uh worth of paid holidays so that leaves us at 46 work weeks so you can actually see that in the formula it's a little bit small but it's um so i divide the compensation package value by 46 divide that by the number of days which is five and then i multiply it by three and that my thought was this the the compensation that they're paying me so i the, my employer is basically out everything if all i do is return the value of my compensation for that day so if they pay me a thousand dollars a day and they get a thousand dollars worth of value they paid for it and there's nothing f there's no return on that so they are just short they're they're down a thousand dollars if i provide them two thousand dollars back of value what did that do that means they paid me the thousand and then they have that thousand dollars of extra value. So that's my thinking on that. So if I do three times, 
that means I'm basically returning uh, double their value back to them. So anyway, that's my thinking. So if I hit that mark, if I'm at at least 100% there, then I feel like I provided them well. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, my work was valuable to them. So it was a good return on their investment. All right, that brings us to the end. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, share. Uh, one of the things I know um, is a struggle for many Christians is legalism. And so hopefully this spreadsheet isn't legalistic, but for me, it's just a way to monitor it. So if I'm drifting in a way, you know, if I find that my wife and I are out of sync, chances are I could trace it back to those specific actions that I'm, tra uh, that I'm tracking. So, and I could see what am I missing normally? So anyway, so hopefully it's a help and not a legalism for you. And all right, till next time, God bless.